11 Alive News at 5 p.m. starts now. They dragged him out of the car, handcuffed him, threw him on the ground, and left him to bleed out. Today at the state capitol, families demanding justice. Local families whose loved ones have lost their lives at the hands of Georgia law enforcement now urging lawmakers to pass measures focused on police reform. Good evening, I'm Fake Jesse. And I'm Jennifer Bellamy. 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter spoke with these families about the specific measures they want to see. The gathering here today comes amid calls for change after the city of Memphis released brutal beating video that led to the death of Tyree Nichols. And while five former Memphis police officers have been charged in that case, families here in Georgia tell me they want police in this state to be accountable in similar situations. No, nobody should get a pay. Everybody should be held accountable. Jimmy Hall says he knows the pain Tyree Nichols family is feeling all too well. Hall's own son. Jimmy Atchison was shot and killed by a joint FBI and Atlanta Police Task Force in 2019 as they tried to serve an arrest warrant. It was only last month that one of those officers was indicted with murder. Hall called the video showing Nichols being beaten by law enforcement triggering. I bet members, not just of my son, but it, it, it brought members of me because I was a victim of police brutality in 1985 on which they beat me until I said I couldn't breathe. So. How many more people said they can't breathe? How many more people called out for their mother? The family stood side by side, holding pictures of their loved ones while calling for all law enforcement in Georgia to be required to wear body cameras. An independent agency to investigate all allegations of excessive force and for law enforcement to be prohibited from testifying before grand juries. We would like to see swift action taken, just like the Memphis DA um, and the chief of police took swift action. We want to see that here in Georgia. The families here tell me they've become like family to one another. And while it's a group they never hope to be a part of, they're blessed to have one another's support. We have to lean on each other because some, sometimes it's like we are here on the island by ourselves. Reporting from the state capitol, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News.